Hey, welcome back to Sonic Colors. In today's episode, we're going after the Chaos Emeralds. Well, at least one of them. So actually, to get the Chaos Emeralds, you want to go to the big Sonic floating head with the game land. Uh, I'm only playing myself, so I'm playing one. And you can, you, if you have enough red rays, you can play as me. So I'm going to be playing as me's for the for the seven Chaos Emeralds. And first, we're going to be playing as Max the me. So each Chaos Emerald is split up into three 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 acts, small acts, based off the gimmicks and stuff of the other acts, like. Act one for that cash emeralds is based off tropical resort, and you have to you have to continuously beat, uh, you know, harder and harder levels. Like this first level is gonna be is gonna be easy, you know, because it's the first level. But each level gets continuously harder as you go through the act, and the chaos emerald act is usually the longest and hardest. Now, as you can see, your lives from the uh, the normal adventure do not carry over to your lives in game land so you have you have two lives which I think translates into three three chances and if you mess up you go back to the start and here's a new feature these uh, pool balls if you homing attack into them they will roll and if they hit robots they'll destroy them and once you reach the gold ring rings will splat out to get you more points and as you can see there's a little red it looks like a little red sonic following me around uh that's that's to help you if you hit uh what button is it if you hit if you hit the two button you'll switch to the you can switch to the red hedgehog basically it's ring storage basically basically is what it is like if you don't want to lose your like if you think you're if you think you're going to get hit you can switch to the other hedgehog to save your rings or, and this is only this is only really for the GameCube controller. Oh crap! Died. This is usually only for the GameCube controller. If you, oh crap! I'm gonna do it again. I got a wall jump. Okay. If you have a GameCube controller, it can give you sort of like a third jump, like a triple jump, because when you activate it, when you activate it, it pops you up in the air a little bit more. But it's not really feasible to do on the uh, Wiimote and nunchuck because you have to hit the two button and that's kind of out of the way of your jump button which is a and because you know, most likely you're, you're going to be holding on to the control stick trying to move your jump and you can't really push two and a at the same time with your hand unless you put it in some funky position you know and as you as you can uh probably hear these game land acts use uh like a techno version of the uh, actual axe theme song depending on which one you do uh... i don't really know what those do, I, th those give you extra points i think but you watch out for eggman wisp castles if you find an eggman wisp castle a big giant eggman face will start following you and try to attack you and there are, there are no ranks on these levels you just try to get your personal best score now, here on the third act, every third act is where you get the Chaos Emerald. And like, you, like I said, it's going to be the longest and hardest one of the set of three. And it's usually going to have the most gimmicks, like, like this. Now here, is a prime example of uh, a misdirection. Sometimes it will misdirect you on where to go, sometimes. Usually around the third, third act of the uh, act of the thing. Like this, okay, like that. I really didn't need to do that. Uh, I have to go back up there and get that cube. Or wait, no, I don't. I can just fall down here. What I'm talking about. See, there's also multiple paths, which you can debate which one goes faster depending on what you're good at, like pushing boxes or using the whisk. I usually take the uh, box path because I don't like fiddling with the wisps that much. But sometimes you have to. Okay, why am I going this way? I'm supposed to go the other way. Another misdirection right there. Well, actually, kind of have to destroy robots to get the path. Okay. And another checkpoint. More boxes. These stages aren't really as exciting as the other stages, but you you have to do them to get the chaos emeralds. I mean, they can be fun to try and speed run. But 
if you're not used to them, these can be, these are kind of more boring than the other, other, the main levels. Come on, I need you to not run out. Okay. Okay. Boom. And you see, you have a, uh, your boost, your boost meter is a little bit, uh, shorter. It's because this is, this mode was mo made to be played with, uh, more than one player. Because... You can see you can see down at the bottom right the uh, the second player's you know wisp and uh, boost meter and there we are the first chaos emerald. So in the next episode uh, we'll be going after the second oh, the second the second chaos emerald. See you then.